nothing really to stop anyone from, from doing anything in this industry. My name's Katie Hall. I'm the owner-director of SC4 Carpenters Limited. I started off in construction, really, doing the accounts for my husband, who was a self-employed carpenter at the time. He actually set up his own company, and I came in because I'd had my own business, so I had transferable skills, really, and grew with the company and learnt on the job. Before that, I had a publishing company, so I had sort of the technology skills. Funnily, a lot, lot of them were transferable to construction. I love it, actually. It's really interesting. It's all different. You get a lot of satisfaction from knowing that you contributed to building someone's home. I've been in construction for about over 20 years. When I first started in construction, there were very few women. And the ones who were there were sort of back office in accounts, possibly in sales, but not really visible at all. And even as little as 10 years ago, if I talked to um, someone in construction quite often, it'd be a man and they'd be talking down to me, thinking I didn't really know about the industry and what I was talking about. But over the last sort of five, six years, it's improved immensely women come in as sort of QSs and construction managers, project managers, architects, and also things like the law side, the health and safety side. If women are in, in management, there's feeling that you can come in at the bottom and work your way up, that, that there's people who will be making decisions about you and what you're doing who will understand your point of view. Now I feel so much more confident coming on site that people's attitudes have really changed and you, you're really welcomed. You certainly don't feel like there's any kind of them and us or any difference really between being a woman and a man on site. However, it's one or two women on a site compared with, you know, hundreds of men. It will change, it will get better, it will improve. One of the main reasons is because it has to. There's a skills shortage, massive skills shortage in construction and we're missing out on more than half the population probably who are even considering construction as a career. I almost feel like, you know, there's a lot of women who would love to be out of an office, outside, being able to say, I built that, you know, I did that, I created that and at the moment they're not getting the chance to do that. You see a lot of women plant operators, for instance, where sort of patience and again the attention to detail really helps. It's sharing that knowledge and letting people understand that there's so many different roles and different opportunities and so many different skill sets that are needed that yeah, there is a role for anyone really in this industry.